This video has been made possible by RenderHub.com, the premier site for selling and buying your 3D related content, such as 3D models, HDRI files, sound effects, textures, print ready models, and much, much more. Okay, everybody, so we're in ZBrush 2020, and I'm gonna show you guys an easy way to apply bolts and screws and whatnot, and more importantly, how to have all of them be the same size, which is kind of important, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to reinitialize ZBrush. And there you go. And we'll just take in a simple cube here and pull that up. Hold on Shift, go to Edit, go to Make Polymix 3D, and hit P on my keyboard for perspective mode. Okay, so let's say we want to have a number of these on this cube, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the IMM brush. So I'm going to hit B for brush and then I for IMM. So B, I, and then we're going to select the IMM industrial parts brush setting. As we do that, we get a listing on top here. We now have a bolt head, we have a flat head screwed, Phillips head screw and so forth. And we're going to select the crown nut. There you go. Now with that selected, I'm just going to go onto my cube and I'm going to hold my pen upright, or if you're using a mouse, just hold, uh, use your mouse, right? And I'm going to drag that out and release at some point. As you can see, very big, right? Now, I don't want that, so let's just control Z to go back. Do it a bit smaller like that. Okay, cool. So let's say I want a number of these. The problem is, how do I get them all the same size? That's kind of a tricky part, right? So if you've got a whole row of these on, let's say, a panel or something, how do you get them all the same size? Now, we're gonna go back to the start, and the trick here is to do this. You're gonna put your pen on your cube or on the object you're working on, and you're gonna hold your other hand near the control key. So you're gonna to start to pull, and as you're pulling, touch the control key. So pull, touch, pull, touch, pull, touch. And as you do that, they will be the same size every time. Uh, so that's a little trick. Now, um, of course, you can apply this to other objects as well. Uh, I'll give you an example. So we're just going to go in here to initialize ZBrush. Let's clean that up. Or you can hit Control N to just uh, clear up your canvas. And I'll go in here. I'll open up a control panel that I've been working on. Pull that out. Hold on Shift to snap. Edit. Make Polymix 3D. Okay. So let's say you want to add a few here. Now suddenly you have the restriction that you have to have things in a line and with the size you already have, right? Okay, so let's try that again. So we're going to go in here and we're going to start dragging. And then let me make sure I got my brush. Hang on. BI, industrial parts, wow. this guy. Yep. So we're going to start to drag. And then we're going to touch control. And as you can see, way too big. So how do you fix that? Well. The size of that is depending on the brush size. So we're gonna push the brush size down quite a bit. And let's give it a try. So we're gonna to start to drag, drag out, touch control, drag out, touch control, drag out, touch control. And of course, you want, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that they're all perfectly lined up, right? So that's all there's to it, guys. Uh, so have fun with that. If you have any questions, let me know. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.